Hey Teal Nation, I'm Donnie Wolf and it's time for this week's news in Shawna Claire Athletics, brought to you today by Myrtle Beats Mitsubishi. Women's tennis won two out of their three matches last week, blanking South Carolina State, falling to Troy, and had a comeback victory against South Alabama. The Shawnts with a 15-6 overall record will host their final match of the season this Saturday against DePaul at 10 a.m. at the Stevens Tennis Complex. Men's tennis fell in both of their matches last week, falling to USC Upstate and UNCG. The Shawnts will host ECU on the 11th and South Carolina State on the 13th at the Stevens Tennis Complex before rounding out the regular season at App State. The men's track and field team had a strong second place finish as a team at the Bill Carson Invitational at ECU over the weekend. The men's 4x400 relay team finished second and the men's 4x100 relay team finished first. Softball brought out the brooms over the weekend, getting their first Sunbelt sweep and run ruling Georgia Southern in two of the three games played. Highlights included a two home run game from first baseman Cass Smith. The Shants carry this momentum to Wilmington on Tuesday for a midweek game versus UNCW and then they'll travel to Troy for a weekend series. Football completed their spring practice with the annual spring game under the lights of Brooks Stadium on Friday. Baseball took the series over South Alabama, winning two out of the three games to stay at the top of the East standings in the Sunbelt Conference. Highlights included Keaton Wise's first career home run and it was a grand slam, and Seth Lancaster who also racked up three homers over two games. CC will travel to Wake Forest on Tuesday, followed by a series at Troy over the weekend. After baseball's strong performance against South Alabama, they're ranked number 17th in the Baseball America NCAA Division I poll. Women's golf will travel to Destin, Florida this weekend to play in the Sunbelt Championships. Best of luck to Coach Quinney and company. Lacrosse defeated Stetson on Thursday and fell in a hard-fought game versus Jacksonville on Sunday. Haley Alexander and Haley Kiger led CCU on Thursday with four goals apiece. On Sunday, the Shants fell just short on the comeback, falling 13-11, with Haley Kiger again leading in the scoring for Coastal Carolina. The Shants will travel to Kennesaw State on Friday and Mercer on Sunday for the Georgia Swing. Thanks for watching this week's news in Shawna Clear Athletics. For GoCCUSports.com, I'm Donley Wolf. Have a great week, everybody. Let's go, Shots.